There are two broad categories of CCTV cameras. There are analog cameras that are identified by this particular kind of connector that you find on one of the terminal through which video is connected from the camera to a recorder. And so all these cameras that I have here, or these three cameras I have here, are analog cameras simply because there is a BNC or this type of connector that is found on one terminal which is used for connecting video from the camera to a recorder. The next category of CCTV cameras is what we call the network or IP cameras. Here are examples of IP or network cameras. These cameras are identified by the presence of Ethernet connectors that you find on the camera. This is the point through which video is taken from this kind of cameras to the kind of recorder that you will use in recording their videos. CCTV cameras come in various shapes, whether the camera is digital or analog. Cameras of this shape that you can see here is a turret dome camera. And this particular one is an analog turret dome camera. You realize that another turret dome camera is here, which is also a digital camera. You can see the Ethernet connection ports with this kind of camera. And so any shape of camera, whether it's digital or IP camera, or it's an analog camera, when it comes in this shape, they are referred to as turret dome cameras. You will mostly realize that turret dome cameras are used for indoor purposes, but the shape alone is not enough to determine whether the camera is for an, for an outdoor or indoor use. There are cameras that come in turret dome shape and still can be used for outdoor purposes. All these other shapes of cameras are referred to as bullet cameras. This one is an IP camera, it's a bullet camera. And this one is an analog camera, it's a bullet camera as well. And so there are bullet cameras and also there are turret dome cameras. The bullet cameras are most often than not rated as outdoor cameras. That means that installing these cameras at outdoor locations will not expose them to damage or any form of defect as a result of exposure to any weather condition. All these two categories of cameras that I have introduced to you are wired cameras. What I mean by that is that the video from these cameras can be taken from the camera through cables to the recording system that they require to record the camera videos. And when you take the analog also, the same applies. The connection from the camera travels to a recorder that records the videos. So let's also talk about the wireless cameras since we have spoken about wired cameras. This is an example of a wireless CCTV camera system. The videos from this kind of cameras are transmitted wirelessly to the recording system on which the videos of these cameras are recorded. This kind of cameras are classified as digital cameras as well. Apart from the wired and the wireless cameras, there are also camera systems called the standalone CCTV camera systems. This is an example of a standalone CCTV camera system. This camera comes with a camera that is located in front of it and its recording is done onto an SD card that is placed within the camera itself. So every activity goes on within this camera, unlike the other types of cameras that the camera stands separately and then also the recordings are carried over cables into a recording system. With standalone cameras, you have all activities all included within one system. This is just an example of a standalone camera. There are different shapes and sizes or designs of standalone cameras that you can find in the market. CCTV cameras are also classified based on the picture quality or the finest of details that each camera can pick up. For example, this is a 2MP CCTV camera. Let me turn it properly. When you look at it, this is 
2MP, which means that it's a 2 megapixel camera and it gives a certain level of clarity or picture fineness when it comes to the kind of images it picks up. And this or other camera is also an 8MP camera. That is the kind of resolution that this kind of camera has. And the higher the megapixel or the resolution, the finer the details the camera can pick. And so you find in the market various resolutions of cameras that you currently find between 2MP to even 12MP depending on the price and then also its ability to pick up details. And so in choosing a CCTV camera, what I have just discussed are various factors or types of systems that you can consider in choosing your CCTV camera system. Please ensure you subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification so you can always be notified anytime we come up with new videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.